Well, hello guys. Welcome back for another video today. And I have something rather unique and something that I've never done before. And that is reviewing custom vehicles. Yes, this is from, you know, the person I do a lot of stuff from, Online Salient, as always. Everything will be in down below that's in the video. So, um, I have three things to show you this time. Not just the one figure. I have the custom bat or bane tumbler the bat pod and the four-sided bane so as always let's get a look up on the minifigures first and check out this awesome bane now let's take a look at this bane now this is obviously a very well done updated and um, you know rather upgraded I should say version of Lego's Bane so that's where you'll see the likenesses in this and this is a four-sided now if you guys don't know what four-sided means that means it's printed on the front the sides of the legs the arms the back and the other side uh, as well so that's where you get the four-sided printing so now let's take a look at that headpiece first now I love this headpiece really um, this is digital printing which I'm a big fan of now um, and online sailing has given me that so um, I really appreciate that. <laughs> so we have the blue head, which is has the awesome, you know, Bane sort of face mask that allows him to make this voice. And um, I kind of failed at that. So very cool. We have, you know, the Lego style eyes with the pupils and, you know, just overall detail on that. So that is very cool. And now once we get down to the torso, we see his, you know, vest and has a lot of detail. Now, I know you can't see this on camera, but in real life, if you have this figure and you look at it straight on, it's so cool. It looks like a 3D torso and not like in the bad way. It just, I don't know, you have to have it to be able to see that and that's actually pretty cool. So on his hands, he has one hand like a glove and the other hand is bare. And on the arms, we have the arm printing. This is actually my very first figure with arm printing. I've now seen tons of stuff with that kind of arm printing, but this is just my first, so very cool and we just move down to the boots or the leggings excuse me and we have ton this is really detailed legs this is why I like digital um, because you're able to put a lot of good detail on you know areas like the legs so we could see the detail from the bottom of the boot all the way up to the leggings in the blue um, there and then the more details on like his pants so that's really cool And if we look on the side let's move up his arm now if we look at the side here, have that focus in, there we go. And you can see, you know, the creases in that and then the other blue line going up. As you can tell, this leg or the boots go down all the way all around. And then on the back, it does have back leg printing with more detail from the boots. And we move up to the back of the vest, which then again has the detail. So very, let's get that. Very, very cool. You know, the straps going down and the belt and then also the back of the head where his face mask, mask is also. So that is very, very cool. Now this Bane is awesome. Like I said, he'll be in the link below if you want to pick him up. He's really good price and really recommended if you love the Dark Knight Rises, which I do. So yeah, let's take a close up of the vehicles. Okay, so the first vehicle we're going to look at is the Bat Pod. Now, this is um, this is featured in two out of the three movies in the Dark Knight trilogy. It is in the Dark Knight when it's ejected from the Tumblr, whenever the Tumblr, you know, self-destructs. And it is also one of the main vehicles in the Dark Knight Rises. Um, you know, Batman uses it and then later on passes it down to Catwoman. So, a very well-known vehicle, and people love to make these make their own versions of it it's very cool and I love I love the, this version I'm gonna show you it now we can see there are four guns on the front which are very nice detail you know the guns that shoot out um, very cool and I love the wheel design it's very slim and that's how like the real one is so very cool how it's nicely slimmed down with all these Technic pieces and the wheels make it glide nicely and we have the two handlebars, you know, that are used, are used to operate the vehicle. And minifigure arms grab that nice and easily, which I'll show you in a second. We have the little engine there. And then back here, this is where the legs go. Now, not much to this vehicle. Very nice and neat and awesome to have if you're a Dark Knight Rises fan. Okay, so now let me show you how to put a minifigure on there. It's actually quite simple. So you want to just snap the minifigure's legs on the little back studs there. 
And then you just lift up the arms, put it just like that, and you want to turn the arms or the hands so they're facing inwards, and just place it all together just like that, and you will have the bane. Now let's take a close-up of this tumbler. Okay, so now let's take a look at the tumbler. Now, if you're a DC fan or, you know, just know anything about, like, Lego stuff and when they actually release things, you know that they've released their own little tumbler thing, and it kind of sucks. So, it's really nice to have a full-scale one, you know, the same scale as the one that they um, released in 2008, you know, the actual Batman tumbler. Okay, so now let's take a look at the Tumblr. Now, if you're a DC fan or, you know, just know anything about, like, Lego stuff and when they actually release things, you know that they've released their own little Tumblr thing, and it kind of sucks. So, it's really nice to have a full-scale one, you know, the same scale as the one that they um, released in 2008, you know, the actual Batman Tumblr black, so it's really cool to have one of these, and um, I really have fallen in love with it, and I have to say I want to have a whole bunch of them, you know, just like in the movie, but I can't. <laughs> it has awesome look with the different colors from the brown to the tan, so very cool, you know, just like the basic color that Lucius Fox had this in, and then, you know, obviously, does it come in black? <laughs> uh, so, you know the movie. The wheels on the back are nice and big. There does come with four that spin really nicely, and we have the engines back here. It also does feature we look on top it features six flaps two right here two right here you know on each side very cool has nice smooth tile work on the top it does feature a opening hatch that opens up just like that and on the inside we can take a look or at least try to take a look at the little control panel it's going to be kind of hard to show in that but as you can tell, kind of see, you know, take awesome stuff. We can see the control panel in there. Very cool, nice little detail, you know, so it's not just blank. So that's very cool. And then this stuff, you know, easily just goes back on. Okay, obviously it's not going to come on because I'm filming a video. It does that. <laughs> just my luck. So that just goes on just like that. Goes, and then you close it just like that. So the front is actually really cool. We have the windshield pieces right there, and obviously the two front wheels. Very nice, and I also forgot to mention, this is also true with the Bat Pod. Whenever you get this set, um, it does come in like, real. it's really nicely packaged in all the different baggies, and very easy instructions that you, you know, use a computer, you know, the disc. Very nice instructions. And it's an overall great build and great buy. I really recommend you guys buy this because it is, very, very cool. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I love these vehicles. I love the Bane because I love the movie. And it's awesome to have these, this stuff that LEGO did not make. And um, um, it was really cool. So if you enjoyed this video, please hit it with a like. Um, very, my very first time doing a custom vehicle review. So um, it'd be really appreciated if we can help get this video up really good um, so I can keep doing them. And then also comment down below if you could see... Now this time we're going to mix it up a little bit. If you could see a Marvel or DC, you know, iconic vehicle in Lego, what would you choose? Or if you want to do minifigure, superhero, you can go ahead and do that too. But yeah, thank you guys for watching. Also, if you're new, click that thumbs up button. I do tons of DC stuff. I'm also a regular Lego reviewer with all the different themes. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. We'll see you next time and all everything down below. Yep, see ya.